Alright guys, Dave here. I'm uh, going to show you how to get through Darkshade Caverns uh, normal, uh, the easy way. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out these first guys here and we're going to pull them up the hill here. Okay, very simple. Just hit one. Just run back to where we came from. Make sure you have your shield up. Okay, and they're all going to come up the hill here. Just pull them as far as you can. Out of that. Okay, and we've got our archers here. And there we go. Quick and easy. Alright, the next group is a little bit bigger. We're going to do the same thing, except we're going to pull them right up here. Probably to about this point here. And they will all come right in. We'll be able to take them out easy with the AOE. Because if not, they're kind of spread out all around us here. See that? So it makes it a little bit harder. Now we could wait because there are three guys that are walking over there. And they'll be back. But we'll take them out singly here. Or as a group by themselves. So just pull them right up here around the corner. Start putting down your AOE. Group. A little bit easier because they're all lined up. And that's all of them. Now I can already see the group there. There they are. So let's get them. Now there is a Mender in the pack, so he's a little bit tougher. Uh, he will. He, or not tougher, he's got a lot more power. There we go. Got them all at once. Right, so the next group. We're going to pull them right around this corner right here. If we pull them to about here, we're going to get most of them. So hit one. And then set your shield. Back around the corner. And they're all coming out now. So we can back up a little bit more and they'll even come closer. Alright, there we go. Take these guys out. And almost got them all. Two more here. Alright. Clean them up. And move on. The next group, there are three guys right here, right before you enter the tunnel. Easiest way to just take them out. Put a couple dots down. A couple of them and just take them out. There we go. Alright. It doesn't matter which one you hit, they're all going to come running. So make sure you're ready. Try to hit one further down. The further down you hit them, it gets the whole group. Okay, be careful. Make sure you're protected. Get out of that AOE because it's going to kill me. No. Alright, we saved it. Almost got killed. Because he will knock you down. One of these Quama workers will knock you down and they will kill you. Got lucky on that one. Alright, we're coming up to our first boss. The boss is right here. Okay, so be careful. Um, the boss will kind of like run into the wall you won't be able to get him so you have to c come back out so what I try to do is get between the boss and the wall all right so let's do this does heal herself or he heals himself so be careful it'll make the fight go on longer so you need to have a decent amount of DPS as much as possible uh, because if not you'll be fighting for a couple minutes if you don't get her down fast enough all right so we're coming to the next group now there are Kwama guys here Kwama workers and there is a warrior and just on the other side of them there are three guys so we're gonna try to hit the three guys and it should bring all the everybody to us. We're gonna bring them right here around the corner. 
right here. So let's get the warrior out of the way for a second. Or you could just run through and take everything out. But I like to be a little more efficient than that. Not wasting time and resources. There's the guys here. Now there should be one guy left standing here. It's going to be there. Oh, we got him too. Good. One last one. There we go. All right, so the next one's a little bit harder. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Pulling these guys up the hill. So if I hit one of them, try to get a Kwama also. If we can. And we're going to bring them right up around this corner here. Right to here. Now they should start coming. If they don't, we'll hit them again. Okay, there's a couple of them here. Hit him again, it looks like. We really want the archers to come up because they're the toughest things down there. Right. As a mender, we'll get him too. Alright, so it looks like we pulled a few of them. Not all of them, not as many as I wanted, but. Okay, last two. They did come out of their corners. Gonna make it a little bit easier to take them down. All right, now we're ready for the next boss. This is a main boss, not a mini boss. Or a boss, sorry, not a mini boss. And he, he's actually really easy. Uh, he'll call Kwama and he'll also, he just shoots this green poison at us. And you'll see it coming. It'll, it'll go down on the ground. Just don't get in it. It's the easiest way. You should have no problem killing this guy. Kind of shoots green, there it is. He just shot it out of his hand. Okay, and there's another AoE that he does. Okay, so get ready, because he's going to start calling Kwama here in just a second. Get out of the AoE. There they are. There's our... Get out of the... There we go. Keep your dots on him. Stay out of the AoE and you're good. Watch the Kwama. If you just stay close enough to him and you got enough AoE on the ground, shouldn't be a problem. They'll all die. They're not that hard. There it is. Stay out of the orange. Whatever color you have for AoE. Oh, there we go. Oh, he got me. That's okay. He didn't have my shield up, so it took out a lot out of me. There we go. Got him. Alright, let's move on to the next ones. Alright, so in this hallway we have some Kwama. Okay, we're going to run into a lot of Kwama in this area. So you could run and pick all of them up if you wanted to. Or you can just take them out in little groups. It would be easier just to take them out in little groups. But let's go ahead and get this guy, because he's right here. We take him out. Sometimes they come, sometimes they don't. And you don't have to kill them if you don't want to. They're not part of it, so we'll just take out the guys we need to. Okay, there are a lot of Kwama here, so just keep moving and find a spot and take them out. You could have done it in a smaller group. Alright, there we go. Now I don't pull the Kwama because they're going to come to you anyways. They're not like the archers or the menders that hang out and do what they want to do. Oh, still got one there. Get the main guy here. Most of them are gonna come. Alright, and that's that. Alright, 
so now we're going to come up to our next boss. Okay, he's a little bit tougher. Uh, you need to interrupt him in certain areas, and I will let you know when. Okay, so get your dots on him. Gonna hit him with some AoE. Oh, try to stay out of the cone. Frontal cone attack there. Okay, now we need to interrupt him when he does that, because if not, he'll jump on you. And he's harder to kill. He always gets me with that one. Luckily, it doesn't do too much damage. him. There you go. He's almost down. Yeah, there we go. Took him out. Alright, so the next thing we got, there are some net cheer. Actually, I did get some gear from them one time, so I always take them out also. So if we drop one of these, get him out of here. Okay, the second net is stronger than the first net, so try to focus on that one and then take out the first one. It should go down anyways. Alright, down here on the right, we've got some stranglers. So we'll take them out first. in the fight with the mini boss we don't want to be dealing with these so we're going to always take them out first okay good now we're ready for this next mini boss okay he doesn't hit too hard he's very low health uh, he does throw a uh, poison, so just get out of it as soon as you can. There it is, there's the poison that he throws. Ah, that always misses him, because it went to the ground. Watch for tentacle attacks. There it is. It's on the ground. So we got to get out of the way. Because that will kill you. And there we go. Alright. So we're going to go up the hill here. Always take the time to look for chests. There are usually at least two chests in the dungeon. So take the time to look for them. Uh, I only know of a couple places in this dungeon where they could be. So I will look before we leave. Alright. So we have some dwarven spiders here. Pull these guys as much as we can over here. All right, we're going to take these ones out too. Now the main boss is right over there, but we're going to go back over here and there's a mini boss that we're going to take out first. Okay, there are some spiders here before him, so there he is. He's coming down the stairs, so be ready. There he is. He sent his AoE at us. Try to take out the little ones first, before we focus on him. Keep your shields up as much as possible. Watch that jump. I find that if we stay close to him, he doesn't really throw his AoE at us as much. So he's backing up to do it, but if I stick on him, he doesn't really do it. 
There we go. Alright, so that's it for that guy. Now we're going to go take out the main boss. The final boss. Oh, there are some spiders and stuff here. I did forget about that. Sorry. We'll pull all them into one area if we can. See if we can get these other ones to come closer so we can get them all in one group. As usual. There we go. There we go. Much easier. Not chasing them all around. Alright, so he is not tough but you are going to be running a lot uh, so you don't get hit he's got he can kill you with one hit uh, especially in veteran mode in this mode probably not uh, depending on how strong you are how your setup is if you have a shield on all right so let's put him dots on him okay he's gonna charge here for a second While he's charging put everything you can on him now just, just stay out of the AoE, just slowly go around him. Next time he does this, we're going to put on the uh, ultimate on him, because since he stays in one place, it's a little bit easier. Okay, why he's chasing me? Oh, he did get me there. That would have been on veteran, I would have been dead. Okay, so these little green guys here, these guys that we see here on the bottom, oh, if I change my bar, uh, these guys here, they are, oh, there we go, let's get him with this here. I could go a little bit faster. They recharge his health. Now luckily in this, in normal, it's not that bad, uh, but if you are soloing in veteran mode, uh, it does count. You'll see that he does recharge quite a bit. It's not a lot, a lot, but it's enough that when you're fighting him for 20 minutes, because his health is like 4,000 or 4 million, something like that, 4.5 million, maybe a little bit higher. go we got him taken out pretty quick pretty easy this is part of the quest if you actually do the quest let's go ahead and kill him because I don't want him attacking us I have found a chest over here once uh, never really searched that much for chests in this dungeon but let's see if there's one over here go back to another section I don't see anything there. And I did find one down here one time on the corner. And I'm not going to take you through the whole dungeon searching for chests. It's something you can do on your own. Alright guys, well that's it. That is Darkshade Caverns. Uh, quick and easy. Um, not too hard to do if you pull all the mobs where you need to be. Um, makes it much easier when you've got them all lined up. If you know of anything that'll make it faster getting to this dungeon, or if there's a specific dungeon that you want to see soloed that can be soloed, uh, and learn how to do it so that you can farm your own gear, let me know. And don't forget to hit, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video.